You may think the Megalodon is the scariest creature to have ever explored the world's ocean, but bad news. You are very, very wrong. The waters of the world have been home to all manner of monstrosities over the millennia, some of which are even scarier than the Meg. These are sea monsters that are scarier than Megalodon number two. Number 15. Pliosaurus Many people will be thanking their lucky stars that the Pliosaurus no longer exists. If it did, we'd be swimming away in fear from this 40-foot-long, 30-ton beast that used to live along the shores of Western Europe. The Pliosaurus lived up until around 145 million years ago and was large with a long-snouted head, short neck, and muscly flippers. Fortunately, if they were around today, we probably wouldn't be their first snack of choice. They tended to enjoy marine reptiles, fish, and squid. These went down a treat due to their massive teeth that could be as long as 12 inches each. Researchers came to learn more about the Pliosaurus in 2006 after finding highly fragmented remains of one. In 2008, they started recovering the bones from the island of Spitsbergen. Given that there were about 20,000 pieces, you can only imagine how long this took. They started piecing them together like a puzzle until they formed the massive pliosaur they called Predator X. Now, it's known within different scientific circles as Pliosaurus funky, which was its official description granted in 2012. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This photo has been doing the rounds on the internet almost as long as the internet has existed. When the photo first appeared, the man who posted it, a gentleman called Archie Thendonis, claimed it was his personal photo that he had taken back in the 80s. In the years that followed, the image was quickly called out as a fake and Archie's reputation was left in tatters. So why are we talking about it now? Well, to this day, Dr. Thendonis insists the reason why he faked the image was because he had seen something that looked like this burst out of the water. But after nobody believed him, he felt driven to make a fake to try to prove he was telling the truth. Sadly, it backfired hugely. What do you think? Does a creature looking like this exist? In reference to the creator of Cthulhu, Dr. Thendonis has nicknamed this beast the Lovecraft. Do you think it exists? If it does, it is certainly scarier than the Megalodon. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Giant Squid I don't know about you, but every time I see any terrifying looking creature on TV, in movies, or on the internet, it almost always lives in the deep ocean. The giant squid is no exception. The giant squid is a deep ocean dwelling squid that can grow to a massive size of around 43 feet or 13 meters. Males are slightly smaller at approximately 33 feet or 10 meters. The length of giant squid, excluding their tentacles, is about 16 feet, while their mantles can be up to about 6 feet 7 inches. Giant squids have 8 arms, a mantle or torso, and 2 longer tentacles. All their arms and tentacles have hundreds of suction cups, each lined with sharp serrated rings of chitlin, which are basically teeth. These allow the squid to attach to their prey, so it turns out they don't really use suction as we know it after all. It's not uncommon to see massive sea creatures like sperm whales with circular scars, which means they have attacked a giant squid at some point in their life. Giant squids also have small fins which they use for locomotion. They pull water into their mantle cavities and push it through a siphon. They can also move quickly when they speed up this process. Number 13. Ancient Greenland Shark The ancient Greenland shark blows my mind, and that is not an understatement. The more I learn about it, the more I think the scientists must have it wrong. This shark, which also gets called Grey Shark and Guri Shark, has the longest known lifespan of all vertebrate species. Apparently, it can live until it's about 500 years old. 
It lives around the Arctic Ocean and North Atlantic Ocean and is considered a generalist feeder. This means it eats a mixture of everything and isn't fussy. Maybe that's the secret to a long life. After all, it's estimated that the average lifespan of the ancient Greenland shark is between 250 and 500 years old. They can grow up to about 21 feet long, weigh 2,200 pounds, and some of the largest have measured about 24 feet long. They're noticeable by their short, rounded snout, small eyes, and small pectoral and dorsal fins. For a shark of their size, their gill openings are also relatively small. Surprisingly, because they live at depths of about 5,000 to 7,000 feet, they have high concentration levels of trimethylamine and oxide in their tissue. This means their meat is toxic. That doesn't stop us, though. It's eaten in Iceland as a delicacy by treating the flesh to reduce the toxin levels. Number 12. Hagfish when something gets called hagfish, you just know it's gonna be a scary sea monster. Have you ever seen something aesthetically pleasing be called a hag? Probably not. Hagfish also go by the name of slime eel, which isn't all that much better if I'm honest. They are marine vertebrates that live in almost all oceans except the North Atlantic. They look like eels, but have no scales and have soft skin. They also have thick barbels on the side of their snouts, which can grow up to about 40 inches or 100 centimeters long. Hagfish don't have paired fins, jaws, or bones, but they do have a tail fin. Their slit-like mouths are also filled with horn-like like teeth, and they have poorly developed eyes under their skin. At the end of their nose, you'll identify a single nostril, although they use between 5 and 15 pairs of gills to breathe. Fortunately, you won't see these monstrosities swimming with you. They live in cold seawater to depths of about 4,260 feet and prefer to live in burrows. All you can see are the tips of their heads while they lie in wait for dead or injured fish to float their way. Number 11. The Faceless Cusk Eel uh, That's fine, I didn't want to sleep tonight anyway, and neither will you after learning more about the Faceless Cusk Eel. Sounds like the name of a cringy horror film, right? Well, the Faceless Cusk Eel, also referred to as the Faceless Cusk, is an eel found at depths of up to 16,732 feet in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. They grow up to about 18 inches long, and it's the only known member of its genus, which is quite interesting. As you can probably gather from its name, they don't really have faces. Their mouths are positioned on the underside of their heads, and the sides of the heads don't have any visible eyes. Although, they actually do have eyes, it's just that they're beneath the skin. They also have two pairs of huge nostrils that sit near the front of their heads above the mouth. And the strange features just keep coming. They have large, deciduous scales, gill covers on each side of their heads, and pale bodies. But their whole body isn't pale, they have black fins. Their small dorsal and anal fins are black and fused at the ends to make up for not having a caudal fin. Very, very strange indeed. Number 10. The Beast of Port Talbot in May 2016, Melanie and Mike Reese and their dog were taking a walk around Port Talbot in South Wales when they stumbled across a massive 11-foot carcass they couldn't identify. They were used to seeing small creatures and jellyfish on the sand, but nothing like this creature that looked like a prehistoric dinosaur. It looked like it had a long tail and legs, and the pair was adamant a whale would not have washed up that far. Melanie couldn't believe how big it was. After uploading it to social media, they were no closer to finding out what it was. No one could identify the remains, which appeared to be charred. However, a comparative anatomist from New York, Dr. Joy Reidenberg, stepped in with an answer. She said it was a toothed whale in the Delphinidae family, which incorporates dolphins and orcas. Going by the skull, it was likely that the beast of Port Talbot was, in fact, a beluga, pilot, or orca whale. Some further digging revealed it was a long-finned pilot whale, and someone had charred it to lighten the carcass. Number 9. Wolf Eel 
Has someone ever told you that you always look grumpy even when you're not? Well, you probably share a few similarities with the wolf eel. Sorry to offend. The wolf eel is an angry looking North Pacific species of wolf fish with pectoral fins and paired gill slits. They can grow up to nearly 8 feet long and weigh as much as 41 pounds, if not more. Young eels are beautifully vibrant with orange bodies and dark spots. However, they turn dark olive, brown, or gray once they mature. So it's confirmed, we get boring when we get old. But that isn't what makes the wolf eel quite scary. These grumpy little guys have extremely powerful jaws. With canine teeth in the front and molars in the posterior position, they are able to crush their prey with a single bite. Their victims don't stand a chance. Wolf eels also have just one dorsal fin, and this extends from their head to the end of their body, with up to 250 bones in between. They also have no pelvic fins, only a small caudal fin, and no lateral line. They are rarely aggressive, but with teeth like theirs, would you really want to wind them up to find out? I'd say these little guys are terrifying. Number 8. Cone Snails when you see the innocent snails in your garden minding their own business, it can be hard to imagine that relatives of theirs are capable of murder. But it's true. Cone snails are small to large venomous predatory sea snails, and their venomous stings can be fatal. Even though there are over 600 cone snail species, all of them are capable of inflicting pain, and some even death. If you handle one, they can insert a radula tooth, which is like a hypodermic needle, into your skin, even penetrating through wetsuit material. You can initially experience intense localized pain, followed by swelling, tingling, numbness, and vomiting. This can then lead to muscle paralysis, vision changes, respiratory failure, and sometimes death. Symptoms can be delayed for days, which can give people a false sense of security that they weren't injected or had contact with one of the milder snakes. As deadly as they are, though, they may also be helpful in the medical field. Their venom may be used for creating pharmaceutical drugs. A pain reliever 1,000 times more potent than morphine, called Prealt, was isolated from magician cone snail venom and was approved by the FDA in 2004. Number 7. Giant Oarfish the giant oarfish, which also gets called king of herrings, streamer fish, and ribbon fish, is the longest bony fish in the world. As you can imagine from a name like ribbon fish, they have ribbon-like shaping and a dorsal fin running its entire length. Giant oarfish also have long oar-shaped pelvic fins and short, stubby pectoral fins. Even though they are unusual in shape, they have some pretty cool colors. They are silver with dark markings and bright red running along along their fins. They're oddly pleasing to the eye. Or fish are found pretty much all over the world in the open ocean and can grow up to 26 feet long. Although some people say they've spotted some measuring up to 36 feet. The maximum recorded weight of a giant oarfish is 600 pounds. To be honest, scientists don't know much about the giant oarfish or its behaviors. They know that it can swim in a vertical position and that it feeds on krill, small fish, squid, and small crustaceans. They've also established that they spawn from July to December and their eggs float near the surface until they hatch. But they don't yet know for sure if these fish are solitary or not. Number 6. Red Hand Fish while not particularly monster-like, this little fish is quite absurd. You may even find it easier to look at a megalodon than a red handfish. The red handfish is found in Frederick Henry Bay in Tasmania, Australia. Unlike other fish that are generally smooth, the red handfish has little wart-like bumps all over its body, along with strange red coloring. Two shades of red are present on its body, its fins, and even on its mouth. They also have translucent pink fins, bright red patches, and white fin edges. It doesn't get much stranger than that, or does it? Do you know what else is interesting about the red handfish? These 2.4 to 3.2 inch fish use their large, developed pectoral fins to walk along the sea floor. Why swim when you can walk? So far, red handfish have only been discovered on 
around two small reefs in Frederick Henry Bay, which measure about 75 meters and 50 meters. It's not known whether they are present anywhere else in the world or whether they are native to Tasmania. As a result, their conservation status is listed as critically endangered. Number 5. Tasseled Wabigong the tasseled wabigong is so unusual looking that it doesn't even look like the species of carpet shark that it is. Instead, it looks like a piece of coral reef or just a part of the sea floor. This carpet shark species lives in shallow coral reefs of New Guinea, Australia, and nearby islands. They grow up to almost six feet long and have flattened, broad bodies and heads. They are also noticeable by their fringes of branching dermal flaps. These are present around their heads and extend down to their chin. These sharks also have complex skin colors with small blotches, which allows them to blend into their environment quite well. When you compare the tasseled wabigong to other members of its family, it's clear to see it's pretty much the black sheep. They are relatively slow swimmers and spend most of their day lying motionless. Yeah, same actually. They also tend to hang out in caves and under ledges, curling their tails up to hang out for hours. Although they come alive at night and swim along reefs to hunt. They prey on fish, crustaceans, and cephalopods. However, they are ambush predators, which basically doesn't rule out anything if it gets close enough. Number 4. Mosasaur I'm sure the Mosasaur wasn't nearly as scary as its skeleton looks, but it sure does look terrifying based on what we know about them. Mosasaurs are extinct marine reptiles that evolved from aquatic lizards. Researchers believe they became the most dominant marine predator during the final 20 million years of the Cretaceous period, but then became extinct about 66 million years ago during the KPG event, which wiped out about three quarters of all animal species. They breathed air, but were also powerful swimmers. They also lived in warm, shallow inland seas that were quite common during the late Cretaceous period. Unlike sea turtles, they would have given birth to live young rather than laying eggs on the shore. If you were to compare them to any creatures today, they would most likely be similar to our monitor lizards, except with more elongated bodies for swimming. They also had broad tails, webbed feet, and short limb bones. Surprisingly, mosasaurs shed their teeth, with replacement teeth being developed inside pits in their roots. This may have made it easier for them to eat ammonites and mollusks. They also had special, blunt, spherical teeth that made it easier to crush mollusk shells. Number 3. The Fang Tooth my eyes basically bled when I saw a picture of the fang tooth. This deep sea fish isn't exactly a beauty contest winner, but at least it is harmless to humans. Fang tooth fish live in tropical and cold temperature waters and don't have any close relatives. They have large, fang like teeth that don't really suit their face, given they grow up to 6.3 inches long. They also have small heads with large jaws that actually appear pretty haggard. This look is further enhanced by the mucus cavities they have with serrated edges covered by a thin skin. Their teeth and jaws are so unusual that you almost don't notice their small eyes set on top of their dark brown to black heads. What's also quite unusual is that they have small fins, are spineless, and their scales are actually embedded into their skin. But aside from their looks, these fish are interesting for other reasons. They aren't egg garters, and they have planktonic larvae. Some spawning activity is thought to be between June and August, with a juvenile being deemed an adult when it reaches about about three inches long. At this time, they start descending into deeper water to start living their best life. Number 2. Mariana Snailfish if you were to look into a fish tank full of different species, the Mariana snailfish would definitely be one of the first ones you'd spot. This snailfish from the western Pacific Ocean lives at depths of up to about 26,000 feet and basically looks like pale tadpoles. They grow up to about 11.3 inches long and only weigh about 0.35 pounds. Surprisingly, for such a small fry, they are the top predator in some parts of the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. They feast on tiny crustaceans in deep water, which isn't typically occupied by large predators. Probably for this reason, their 
there are healthy numbers where they live. The first time the Mariana snailfish was caught during an expedition was in 2014. In the 10 days after the first fish, researchers caught heaps more. As they were caught at 26,135 feet, they potentially broke the record for a fish caught on the sea floor. They have well and truly adapted to their dark environment by having transparent skin, enlarged eggs and organs, and thinner muscles. They also have little to no ability to see. Number 1. Bobbit Worm as cute as the name Bobbit Worm sounds, it's actually a little bit awful. It's a benthic bristle worm that lives in the warm marine waters of the Atlantic Ocean and Indo-Pacific Ocean. Bobbit Worms can be anywhere from 4 inches long to 10 feet, so there's really no average for this critter. They also have exoskeletons that feature various cool colors like black, purple, blue, green, red, and more. Bobbit worms are ambush predators that burrow their bodies in the ocean floor and use their antenna to detect prey. When they feel something, they strike with the sharp parts in their mouths. They don't have any eyes, so they rely solely on their antenna to eat. You might feel sorry for them having no eyes, but this little guy is vicious. When they find prey, they can use their mandibles to strike and stun them so fiercely that they snap in half. Their victims don't stand a chance because of how well they can camouflage themselves. Their thin, one-inch wide bodies also means they can fit into tiny gaps. So as I was saying, they're a little bit awful. So what do you think? Sure, Megalodon are scary when you consider how large they used to be, but size isn't everything. Some other sea creatures are scary for other reasons. Which one terrified you the most? Were there any you didn't know existed? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!